yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Well, as y'all can see, we need gas again. Yo, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. As you guys can see from that quick little intro, um, Vader is definitely empty. And judging by the title and the thumbnail, today's video, we are actually going to be going over how to test um the ethanol content at the e85 station that you are at um one of the most like slept on things uh to me when people are running e85 is basically you know you think that you can just go to a pump and fill up on e like a regular gas station and that is not the case just because a gas station has an E85 pump and they have E85, that does not mean that that E85 is E85. You dig what I'm saying? Some stations might be a little grimy, and this actually goes for regular gas too. 93, 89, 87, whatever the grades are, premium, super, and regular. That happens to those gases too, bro. Like you can get a bad batch of gas on a gas delivery it happens at gas stations all the time so with that being said e85 is just a little bit more risky because not that many people are running e85 in their cars you know the gas companies kind of get away with having shitty e85 in their gas tanks um and you know the car enthusiasts like myself like you guys that are running e85 are the ones that actually have to you know deal with the repercussions of the gas pumps not really caring about what quality e85 they're putting in their you know in their pumps or not like what they're selling they don't really care about the quality or the content of the e85 and what happens is you go and get a bad batch of e85 and now your car is bricked that e85 is ran through the fuel lines and <sighs> that's a messy process so instead of having to you know deal with you know going out on a limb and getting bad e85 they came out with these e85 testers and the way that they work is you fill it up to a certain line with water as you guys can see there's water in there and then the rest of it all the way up to the top you fill with the gas and then you shake it up real good and there's actually meters on the side which i'll show you guys once we get to the pump um there's meters on the side and it'll tell you what grade of e you have so if it's E85 bet if it's E75 uh if it's E70 uh if it's E60 or 65 uh you feel me so with that being said we're finna go ahead and go test this local Kroger um see what the E85 content is at that pump I've actually pumped the gas I've actually pumped E85 there twice now so I was playing it a little risky, you know. I definitely went off a word of mouth from some of my homies who told me that the E85 content was good. So I went ahead and just risked it and got the E. Um, but now we can play it safe and test every single pump that we go to. So with that being said, man, we're gonna go ahead and head over to that gas station and I'm gonna show you guys the process. All right, as y'all can see, we just got to the E85 pump. It is currently $3.75. 
so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the little process you know what I'm saying insert your card and whatnot and do what you got to do you'll pay for it and then when you pick up the pump instead of going directly to filling up the car what you're gonna do is you'll grab your ethanol V85 testing kit like y'all can see it is already filled up with water to the line you're gonna fill up all the way to this top line with E85 and then y'all can see it has the grades kind of marked off so it starts off at E60 and it works its way all the way up to E95 so we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with the E shake it up real good and uh, we'll see what kind of content this Kroger has Right, so take the top off now you got to be careful when you do this bro because it's hella these joints got high ass pressure bro damn I ain't gonna lie this is not the safest way to do this Right up to that fill line as y'all can see. Just stick the pump back in your car. Take your top. There it is. Alright, so as y'all can see, the little difference between the bubbles, this little gap right here, basically this is actually E80. So I'm probably not gonna pump that. I ain't even gonna lie, this is E80, as y'all can see. Yeah, can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all definitely can. Y'all see where it's like the bubbles stop and then it gets clear? So this content is E80, which is actually not that bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and pump it, but yeah, man. You want that, you want that smooth E85. As long as it's above E80, you should be good. So let's go ahead. Start pumping, man. Take my money, do what you gotta do. But yeah, man, now you guys know, that's how you test E85. Now you're not gonna wanna just pour this on the ground or whatever, to take it to a you know legit spot and dispose of it. And then all you gotta do is rinse your tester out, man, fill it up with water again, and you're ready to test at the next spot. All right, y'all, so. Uh, uh, grab that seat belt, man. Just hopped in the whip, man. As y'all can see, I wasn't capping. Still got the E85 in the tester. Well, the E80 in the tester, man. Um, That's how you do it. Honestly, after, you know what I'm saying? After you test it, if it's like E80, like you guys just saw, if you choose to run it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Like I say, it's completely up to you, but this tool definitely will help you save a lot of money um you know what i'm saying just off of getting bad e85 so with that being said y'all that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video man if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications for the kid drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think about this e85 tester man like i say i got it off of amazon it was like 15 dollars bro if you are running e85 telling y'all look into getting an e85 tester and i'm also getting a gauge um that will you know double back and let me know the ethanol content that the car is running so when it is time to go to the drag strip or when it is time to take a trip to mexico i'm gonna know if i really have 100 percent e85 or if i have like a little mixture of e so with that being said y'all that's actually gonna wrap it up like i told y'all make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications man and uh that's gonna do it man i'll see y'all in the next one let's go ahead and roll that outro peace